With Machine, you are able to give your tractor mixes a more individual touch. Because both applications can be run in perfect sync, it makes it ideal to use Machine as an additional groove box. First of all, you need two systems running each of the applications. We'll sync both systems via MIDI clock, so the system running tractor will also need a MIDI interface. In this tutorial, we'll use the Audio 8 DJ interface. Plug a MIDI cable into the MIDI out port of the MIDI interface connected to the computer running tractor, and the other end of the cable into the MIDI in port of the machine controller. Tractor will be providing the master clock, so we'll first have a look at the tractor configuration. Open the Tractor Pro Preferences dialog and choose MIDI Setup. Here you need to activate the MIDI out port of your MIDI interface by clicking its device name in the MIDI Output Devices section. Underneath this dialog, you'll also need to activate the checkbox labeled Send MIDI Clock. Now let's have a look at the system running machine. Start the machine software and go to File and choose External MIDI Sync. Now when you open the Master Clock panel in Tractor Pro, you'll see a MIDI clock section containing a Play Pause and Sync button. Press the Sync button to start sending the tempo information from Tractor to the machine's software. As you can see, the MIDI Out LED on the Audio 8 is flashing, telling us that Tractor is sending MIDI clock information. The machine should now display the same BPM value as Tractor. Now you just need to adjust the phase of both systems. To make that easier, you can use the tick that provides audible tempo and phase information. You can activate the tick in Tractor by pushing the small button labeled Tick in the Master Clock section. The signal of the tick will be routed to all monitor channels, so you need only push the headphone button in one of your mixer channels to hear it. Then to activate the tick in Machine, just hold the shift button on the controller and press play. When you hear both ticks, go to the preferences of the machine software and adjust the sync offset slider until both ticks are in sync. Now you can deactivate both ticks and start playing on both systems without worry of staying in sync.